Today is April 11th. My name is Hunter, and we are on a journey into the loving heart of God. We meet here each day on this podcast to read from the Revised Common Lectionary, to reflect, and to pray. We start today in Psalm chapter 4. Then we go to Daniel 10, verses 2 through 19, and we'll finish in 1 John chapter 2, verses 26 through 28. This is the word of the Lord, Psalm 4. For the choir director, a psalm of David, to be accompanied by stringed instruments. Answer me when I call to you, O God who declares me innocent. Free me from my troubles. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. How long will you people ruin my reputation? How long will you make groundless accusations? How long will you continue your lies? You can be sure of this. The Lord set apart the godly for himself. The Lord will answer when I call to him. Don't sin by letting anger control you. Think about it overnight and remain silent. Offer sacrifices in the right spirit and trust the Lord. Many people say, Who will show us better times? Let your face smile on us, Lord. You have given me greater joy than those who have abundant harvests of grain and new wine. In peace, I will lie down and sleep. For you alone, O Lord will keep me safe. Daniel 10, 2-19 When this vision came to me, I, Daniel, had been in mourning for three whole weeks. All that time I had eaten no rich food, no meat or wine crossed my lips, and I used no fragrant lotions until those three weeks had passed. On April 23rd, as I was standing on the bank of the great Tigris River, I looked up and saw a man dressed in linen clothing, with a belt of pure gold around his waist. His body looked like a precious gem. His face flashed like lightning, and his eyes flamed like torches. His arms and feet shone like polished bronze, and his voice roared like a vast multitude of people. Only I, Daniel, saw this vision. The men with me saw nothing but they were suddenly terrified and ran away to hide. So I was left there all alone to see this amazing vision. My strength left me, my face grew deathly pale, and I felt very weak. Then I heard the man speak, and when I heard the sound of his voice, I fainted and lay there with my face to the ground. Just then a hand touched me and lifted me up, still trembling to my hands and knees. The man said to me, Daniel, you are very precious to God, so listen carefully to what I have to say to you. Stand up, for I have been sent to you. When he said this to me, I stood up, still trembling. Then he said, Don't be afraid, Daniel. Since the first day you began to pray for understanding and to humble yourself before your God, your request has been heard and seen. I have come to answer your prayer. But for twenty-one days, the spirit prince of the kingdom of Persia blocked my way. Then Michael, one of the archangels, came to help me. And I left him there with the spirit prince of the kingdom of Persia. Now I am here to explain what will happen to your people in the future. For this vision concerns a time yet to come. While he was still speaking to me, I looked down at the ground, unable to say a word. Then the one who looked like a man touched my lips, and I opened my mouth and began to speak. I said to the one standing in front of me, I am filled with anguish because of the vision I have seen, my Lord, and I am very weak. How can someone like me, your servant, talk to you, my Lord? My strength is gone, and I can hardly breathe. Then the one who looked like a man touched me again, and I felt my strength returning. Don't be afraid, he said, for you are very precious to God. Peace, be encouraged, be strong. As he spoke these words to me, I suddenly felt stronger, and I said to him, Please speak to me, my Lord, for you have strengthened me. 
1 John 2, 26 through 28. I am writing these things to warn you about those who want to lead you astray. But you have received the Holy Spirit, and He lives within you. So you don't need anyone to teach you what is true, for the Spirit teaches you everything you need to know. And what He teaches is true. It is not a lie. So just as He has taught you, remain in fellowship with Christ. And now, dear children, remain in fellowship with Christ so that when he returns, you will be full of courage and not shrink back from him in shame. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the people of God. Amen. And now let us take some time for silent prayer and reflection. Lord God, Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power, that we might not fall into sin or be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far and those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold, pour out your Spirit on all flesh, and hasten the coming of your kingdom. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now, Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. And where there is sadness, joy. O oh Lord, grant that I might not seek so much to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love, for it is in the giving that we receive, in the pardoning that we are pardoned, it is in the dying that we are born unto eternal life. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your grateful children, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and all you have made. We bless you for your creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life. And above all, for your immeasurable love and your redemption of the world through our Lord Jesus Christ. For the means of grace and the hope of glory. Lord, we pray Give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but with our lives, by the giving up of ourselves for your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. And now as our Lord has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for spending another day with us at the Daily Lectionary Podcast. 
Let me also invite you to join us at our flagship podcast, The Daily Radio Bible, where we read through the entire Bible over the course of a year. But more than that, what we desire most is to see and be transformed by the God who is love. Find out more at dailyradiobible.com or wherever you get your podcasts. Now let's go forward in God's joy. Let His joy be your strength. And let us always remember this, that you are loved.